In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create WordPress custom post types without using a plugin. So we're going to use code in the functions file. The code's going to be in the blog, link in the description. But essentially what we're doing is we're adding a new menu item on the left-hand sidebar of the WordPress admin, and we're going to be able to make different types of posts, whatever type you want, really. I'm going to show you how to do it in this tutorial, and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress tips and tricks and getting better at WordPress for yourself and your clients, click on subscribe, then click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And if you like deals, I've negotiated a half off deal with InMotion Hosting. You get half off of any one of their plans that you want. It can be for yourself or for your clients or whatever. You get half off. Link in the description down below for more details. And with that out of the way, let's head to the screen capture. What we're creating is a custom post type, much like this projects entry here, or this music entry, which was created by different plugins that I have installed on this site. We're gonna create our very own custom one on the left sidebar, which will allow you to organize your posts more easily and to allow you to create more stuff within that custom post type. The first thing we have to do is open our cPanel or open our FTP program and find our functions file. I'm going to do it through cPanel. I'm going to go to the file manager. Then I'm going to go to public underscore HTML, WP dash content, themes. Find the theme I'm working in right now. I don't know which one it is. So I'm going to go back to my site, go to appearance and then themes. And I'm using the Divi child theme. So if we go back into here, we have funny names for things. So here's the Divi theme, but it's not the Divi child theme. So it could be this one. I'm gonna just open this one. I'm gonna open the style sheet because that will tell me if this is the Divi child. And up in the top it says Divi child theme. If you open the child theme with, or if you open the child theme folder and then open the style sheet, it will say at the top of the style sheet what the theme name is that appears beside the word active. So this is our child theme. And I'm gonna open the functions file in this child theme. If you're concerned about your functions file, which you should be, because one wrong move in there and your site's gonna go down, what I like to do is you copy the functions file before you edit it. So I'm just gonna click on it to highlight it, click on copy, just gonna call this functions.php-backup. Now we have our backup file here. It, this is a non-functioning file, so the site's not gonna actually pick it up. But if something goes wrong in the file we're editing, we just delete the one we're editing, change the file name of the backup, and our site is back online. So I'm gonna edit this file, highlight it, click on edit. I'm gonna hop over to the blog and copy this piece of code right here. This is linked to in the description down below. So if you copy this whole code, Go to the bottom of your functions file, make some space for yourself down there, paste the code in. And we have the code that's gonna create our custom post type. Now there's a couple things you can customize. This is gonna be bare bones. I can do a further video later on if you like with more features that you can add to custom post types. Just let me know in the comments down below if you want a video with more custom post type details and customization. But this one is gonna create a custom post type which in the site is gonna be called WPLL underscore product. Now this would normally be the slug that appears in the URL as well, but we're gonna update that later on. This code is gonna show you that in just a second. So this is gonna be the name of the custom post type. The name that appears in the site is gonna be products. That's gonna be the name that's in the sidebar on the site. The singular name is gonna be product. You can edit these to whatever you want. This can be whatever you want, as long as it's allowed characters, you could have this say books. And the product or the name can be books. The product name is, or the single name is book. And this actually shouldn't be books up here. You should have something before it just because you don't want to conflict with something else that's going into the database. So have something custom, like I have WPLL, which is short for WP Learning Lab, underscore books. This is going to be what's interacting with the database. And we want to make sure there's no conflicts there. So we had WPLL books and then books for the name, book for the singular, the slug, which like I said would normally be this, the slug would be changed to what we put in here. So I'm just gonna call this books. 
Then I'm going to click on Save Changes. Head out to my site here. When I click Refresh, the site's either going to go down or it's going to have a new entry in the left-hand sidebar. And it didn't go down, and there's a new entry here called Books. If we click on either Books or Books right here, we're going to see a listing of stuff, which is not there yet. If we click on Add New, we're going to see an editor, just like we would for any custom post type or any regular post type for that matter. It's going to do a quick test and say this is my book. I like my book. Click on Publish. And as you can tell, there's a lot of stuff that's not here that's normally here on Posts and Pages. Some of it you can get back by going to Screen Options, like the Slug, for example. That's not very much. Others need to be added in by editing the code. So if you guys like this kind of video, let me know in the comments down below. I'll make a video that shows you many more bells and whistles for these custom post type codes. So if we open this page, you might encounter an error. Let's just try it right now. I'm going to Control or Command click on that and open the page. And I didn't get an error. What might happen is you may get a 404 error. So I'm just going to go in and change. I'll show you something else first. See if I can create this error for you. So this books slug, or the, the part of the URL that has books in it, if we change this word right here, we can change that part of the URL. So I'm going to change that to read. I'm going to refresh this page. And that's going to change books in the URL to read. Now let's try opening this one. And we get a 404 for this one. Not found. You may get this on your first try. You may not see this ever. But the way you fix it is we go to settings and then permalinks. And then we scroll down. We don't change anything. Scroll down to the bottom, click on save changes. Then we can go back out here to this 404, refresh the page, and it should load properly now. And there we go. It's reading properly at the read URL. And if you, at one day, at some point, decide to change this again, maybe you want to change this to Tofu, click on Save, click on Refresh this page. This is not going to work. Actually, see what happens. It stays here. Okay, let's change this to Tofu. We're going to get a 404 because it's not there. If we go to our actual page, it should be, go to Quick Edit, doesn't show it there. If we go into the editor, tofu should be part of the URL. And it is, and it's loading a 404. And again, the way you fix it, just really quickly again to prove it to you, go to permalinks, go down to the bottom, click on save changes, then refresh this page. And now we have a functioning page again under the tofu URL. So that's how easy it is. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Check out the half off for hosting deal in the description down below. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.